Uh, moving on. It was officially announced earlier today that, hold on, let me get this shit off the screen, that uh, Jake Paul is going to be taking on Anderson the Spider Silva. Uh, how old is Anderson Silva? About 47 years old? Okay, let me pull it up real quick. Okay, let's go listen to what Jake Paul has to say. It's going to be on October the 29th on a Showtime pay-per-view. I wonder how much they're going to charge us. $50 or the full 75. Like they need the, I mean, you know, I wonder how much they're going to charge us. Time for the Let's go listen to what he had to say. For, and I Let's go listen to it. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the fight announcement you have all been waiting for. And I usually have to sell my fights. I usually have to do all of the work. But this time, Dana White, Conor McGregor's dad, is promoting the fight for me. Thank you. Anderson Silva, we honestly need to start talking again about this guy as the GOAT. Not Tito, because he knocked Tito out in 40 fucking seconds. But you know what? He did to Tito exactly what should be done to Tito. Knocking Tito out in 40 seconds is what should have happened in that fight. Anderson Silva beat Chavez Jr. at 40 what? 44, 45 now? 46. 46? 40 fucking six years old. He now left this sport, which he was, you know, considered one of the greatest of all time, possibly even the greatest of all time. Goes out, beats Chavez Jr. in a boxing match, and knocks Tito out in 40 seconds. Anderson Silva might actually be the goat of combat sports. I mean, to, to still compete, it'll be interesting to see uh, what he does next. I fucking guarantee you this. You ain't going to see Jake Paul calling Anderson Silva out. That I fucking promise you. He's his size, and he's actually good. The kid out. Hey, Jake. Anderson's out. Jake? Jake? <laughs> Jake? Dana? 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 Guess who? Now, I normally don't agree with Dana White, but he is right. Anderson Silva is literally the greatest MMA fighter of all time and one of the most versatile fighters in the history of combat sports. He literally just schooled the world champion boxer in Julio Captain Crunch Caesar Jr. the third. Anderson Silva has been on a KO streak, knocking out Tito Ortiz, Bruno Machado. I mean, this guy is nasty in the ring. And for me, this fight was supposed to be after Tommy Fury because I've never fought a southpaw, and this is a much tougher fight. Every fight critic said that I wouldn't take this fight, and if I did, I would lose to Silva. Anderson Silva also come from that MMA side, but always had boxing in his in He's his a blood. striker well, first. You also need, He's a striker first. Well, you also need to keep it like a balancing act here, whether you're playing. I think Anderson is too good. I don't think there would be a surprise element to that promotion. I think Chavez Jr. is a better, a better name for it. Who Anderson just beat in boxing, right. who is tough though. But it's time to dive into the deep end, put it all on the line, and give the people what they want. Joe Rogan, Dana. Hold on, let me play the other video. It's a part two. I mean, I'm cool with it. I'll give you my thoughts other in a Anderson minute after, he, after he's finished. Anderson Silva, the after he finished, I'll give my thoughts. Rogan, Dana White, and many of the other MMA experts have named Anderson Silva the greatest MMA fighter of all time. Anderson holds the UFC record for the longest title reign in the history of the sport, 2,457 days. And he holds the record for the most UFC victories in a row, which is 16. Most knockouts in UFC title fights, most finishes in UFC title fights, most knockouts by division, most knockdowns in career title belts, most significant strikes landed. This guy's accolades are fucking crazy. It's an absolute honor to be sharing the ring with such a legend like Anderson Silva, but only one of us can walk out as a winner, and I believe it's gonna be me. Saturday, October 29th, live on Showtime Pay-Per-View, Phoenix, Arizona. Be there. If he's really fighting Anderson Silva, if that's true, it's about time. Yeah, he's, he's got a real fight in his hands there. Regardless of how old Anderson is, that's a real fight. Uh, I like the fight. I'm down with it. Uh, I've covered uh, Anderson Silva's last few fights. Uh, the one on the Mayweather card over in Dubai where he fought uh, the Machado guy. I covered when he knocked out Tito Ortiz. I thought it was a flop, but then it's like, yo, he really laid him out. I was, I was hurt. And disappointed that Chavez Jr. representing the boxing community lost to him. And he gave Chavez Jr. a boxing lesson. A boxing fucking lesson. And I think he's going to beat Jake Paul. Now remember, Jake Paul don't have no losses here. 
Jake Paul is a social media influencer, a YouTube troll. Like, he's a promoter naturally. So there's no losses for him fighting Anderson Silva. What are they going to say? Oh, well, you lost to Anderson Silva, who beat Chavez Jr., one of the greatest mixed martial artists of all time. He can still keep it going. But I get where fans are coming from. We want to see him fight a boxer. October the 29th on pay-per-view. Now, here's my issue. Once again, more pay-per-views. We just had um, Andrew Ruiz versus Luis Ortiz on pay-per-view. September the 4th. September the 17th, in a couple of weeks, you're going to have Canelo versus Golovkin 3 on the zone. $64.99 if you have the zone. $84.99 on pay-per-view if you don't. October the 15th, you're going to have Deontay Wilder versus Robert Herlinius, Caleb Plant versus um, uh, Anthony Durrell, Frank Sanchez versus Carlos Negron, and Michelle Rivera, question mark, versus a TBA. That's the rumor. That's going to be October the 15th on PBC on Fox pay-per-view. The fights that's supposed to be announced any day now. Terrence Crawford or Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford on Showtime pay-per-view. That's going to be $74.99. Don't be surprised if they try to make it $79.99. And then a few weeks before, a couple weeks before that, you have this on Showtime pay-per-view. And then and then um in December, Tank Davis returns, possibly against Ryan Garcia, hopefully, on pay-per-view. While while kids are at school. People are home. Gas is still $4 a gallon. Like, what are they thinking? What are they thinking? So, here is what I think. I think that this fight's going to really do really well because you also have the uh, the casual fans. Um... And, and the Jake Paul fans, are, oh, wow, he's fighting Anderson Silva. And then you have the mixed martial arts fans. This has the potential to do 500,000 at least pay-per-view buys. Just because of off of the casual and mainstream um, uh, uh, appeal this fight's going to get. Wild. a female fight is not on pay-per-view that hasn't been confirmed and it's likely not going to be on pay-per-view it ain't going to teal fight ain't going to be on pay-per-view he said pay-per-view but he didn't know what the fuck he was talking about i don't think gordy says uh what are you more excited about shields um i'm more excited about shields marshall and also but the and also um some rando says the KSI fight just did 500k plus that has the potential to do more. Now, why do people keep saying this? No disrespect. But that fight was $10. It wasn't 75 bucks. It was $10. It was $10. It's a big difference between 500,000 people buying a $10 a $10 fight than 500,000 people buying a $74.99 or $50 fight. It was $10. Unless they're talking about like, how much was it in the UK? I know here in the States, it was $10. How much it was it on the, in the zone, uh, in, on the zone UK for that KSI versus Schwarm's uh, fight uh, card. Shit was $10 here in the States. So it's a big, big difference, but I'm all for this fight. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it.